Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening door number 12 of my MSC Advent Calendar and I'm also going to be hiring out an arena for Trixie. So I've got it all booked and um, it's on today at 11 and at the moment it's 10 so I've got an hour to get there. Well, I've got half an hour to get there because I've also got to groom her and pack her, her tack. Um, I have already put all the shavings and all in the trailer, so all I have to do is get her, give her a little groom, and then I'll see you when I get there. Okay, let's see who's behind the door. This is honestly going so fast. So, put your guesses down below. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, is this a quarter horse? I don't know. I think this is a quarter horse. Is it the... Grulo, I don't know. I I bet I'm not pronouncing that correct. Um, I'm just gonna call him, her, him, them a blue roan for now because I do not know how to pronounce the name. This Grulo coat is very pretty. Um, it reminds me of a horse on one of my shorts. The horse is for sale. Um, I think his name was Blue. Apart from he was a dark color to this one. But this horse is very pretty. He's got a nice short mane. I really like the horses with the short manes because it makes them look very, what's the word? It makes them look neat with this kind of mane. It isn't very messy like the Andalusians manes, for example. However, I do like the Andalusians because they have very naturally long manes and it's very pretty. So I personally really like this horse. Um, and I'm also going to do another, another story time, just a very short one because I know I have to go and get Trixie. But the other day, well... It wasn't the other day, it was actually about, I think it was three months ago, I was riding my friend's horse, his name was Ghost, he was blue, no he wasn't a blue roan, he was like this gr gorilla kind of coat, um, and I was on him and my friend was on Juniper and we were just being crazy in Maple Springs and then all of a sudden she ended up flying me into the air and at the same time I pressed lay and dismount, so when I came back down to the floor, I bounced off the horse, went flying across the map, and flew off the map. It was interesting, um, but I, I think I've recovered from that. I do not trust this horse, though. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was very funny. My little baby, she isn't too far. Hi. Can, can I clip on your lead rope? Come on. Come on, Gully. Come on. Stop moving your head away from me. There we go. Well, I can't. I'm probably going to give her a groom when I arrive at the barn. Why, why can't we head out? There we go. I'm probably going to give her a groom when we actually arrive at that barn. Because knowing her, she'll probably get quite... She'll probably get all of the shavings over her in the trailer. I'll see you when we get there, Trixie. So now that I've got her, I'm just going to head round to the car and start the engine. And then I'm just going to head there. Um, It shouldn't take too long. I'm going to also say bye to the chickens. Wait, where are the chickens? Aha, uh, here's one. Why are you by the mucky, mate? Why are you by the... Ew, stop chasing... <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? Why are you chasing me? What did I do to deserve this? Okay, mate. No! I've hired out an arena and we have arrived at the arena. And the arena's just down... I don't know what you call it. Just down the path from here. Um, I've also got her tack as well, but that's in the back of the car and inside of the trailer. So I'm going to get her out now. Good girl, please don't kick me. Please, good girl. Let me clip on your lead rope. I managed to, I managed to clip on her lead rope and I've got her. So I'm just going to tie her up here. Now I'm just going to go and tack her up. Here we go, I'm leading her to the arena. Since I've hired her out, nobody can really use this arena, which is very good. Because this is actually a lesson barn. This used to be my old lesson barn. So Trix might find it familiar. Even though she's been here before, she did seem a bit on edge. So I gave her loads of pats to reassure her that it was nothing to worry about. And then we set off. So she's been a very good girl. So I'm just going to speed up this walking process. And it did take a while. And then here I asked her to trot and she's been a very good girl, very responsive. And luckily she wasn't being too spicy. 
She did seem quite fresh, though. She kept throwing her head round in excitement. However, most of my ponies do that. Good girl. Okay, I'm going to ask her to canter. Good girl, and... Good girl. I am very lucky now that I can canter her for longer periods of time because for all of you that didn't know, she had a very bad fall and it was five months ago, actually, I posted it in my community post. Um, she had a very, very bad fall, but now she is all better. Well, she's recovering. She isn't completely better, but I'm just slowly getting her back into training. Good girl, and go. Good girl, well done. I'm going to change the rain, or I can't really change it, the jumps are in the way. Go. For all of you that keep saying, go closer to the fence, I'm not going to go very close to the fence, because the other day, well, like I always say, I never say... So, the other day, um, I was actually in the field with her, and I was riding her bareback, and I put her in the field after we'd done some bareback riding, um, and she came over to the fence to greet me when I was coming to get her in for the night. And she actually got zapped by the electric fence and I felt very bad for her. So she seems to be quite spooked at the fences. Good girl. So I don't tend to ask her to go too close. Good girl. Ooh, whoa. Steady, steady. She seems to have her speedy pants on today. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, steady, steady, steady. I have hired them up a tiny bit, so I'm going to go into GoPro and jump with her. Here she was over jumping a bit, but that is okay. I am used to that. Good girl. Well done. Steady, steady. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Good girl. Well done. Good girly. She's been a very good girl, so I allowed her to just trot for a bit, just to cool off, as I wasn't going to do a very long training session with her. But at the same time, I wanted to make do with the arena, as we had hired out for an arena, and this has only been like 45 minutes. So I just asked her to slow down and asked her to walk. And I was thinking, why not do a couple of Jim Carney games here? So one of them here, I was just kind of asking her to slow down and turn down the middle. And I asked her to halt, which put her ears back, but she's been a good girl. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much it for today. Oh, now it gets like goodbye. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.